Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles uh, inscribed in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line segment uh, A, E is uh, 8 units and this angle uh, D, E, A is uh, 90 degrees and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale and since we are dealing with a tricky kind of problem so therefore we are going to be creative and we are going to think outside the box and here's our very first step let's go ahead and draw some auxiliary lines let me go ahead and extend this uh, line AE all the way to some point uh, F over here and we are going to connect uh, this B and F and here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and we can see that uh, this angle EFB is uh, 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha and beta, equals to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is alpha, and we know that this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be beta since alpha and beta are complementary angles and now we know that this whole angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta so therefore this angle has got to be alpha now let's focus on this uh, triangle AFB and now we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha so therefore this angle has got to be beta therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, triangle uh, DEA and this uh, triangle uh, AFB are congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle uh, congruency theorem since uh, this side length uh, is equal to this side length since we are dealing with this uh, a b c d as a square and here in this triangle uh, d e a the opposite uh, side of this angle alpha is uh, eight units so therefore the opposite uh, of this angle alpha in this uh, triangle a f b is going to be this side that is going to be 8 units as well so therefore this side length uh, BF uh, turns out to be 8 uh, units now let's focus on this uh, green triangle AEB and here I have copied down this uh, green triangle AEB and now we can see that this uh, side length uh, AE is the base of uh, this uh, triangle and this is the height of this triangle. We know that the AE length is 8 units, whereas the height of this triangle is 8 units, as you can see over here. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. And in our case, our base is 8 and our height is 8 as well so therefore I'm going to replace uh, base by 8 and height by 8 as well so therefore the area of this green triangle is going to be a half times 8 times 8 so if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 32 square units so thus the area of this green shaded triangle turns out to be 32 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye